Alright guys, Jeremy with Disciples Garage here. I uh, just figured I'd give you an update here. Got uh, my next, finally my next little job here um, to do. It's not a very high paying job, but it's a job. And actually I don't even think it's really a paying job, but at least it's uh, something to do to um, get some stuff. Um, the deal is that um, Jared wants me to get his his dents out of his uh, Tahoe so he can get this thing flipped. Um, he is selling his truck. Um, I did a full buff job on that yesterday and we had a cookout here. It was pretty cool. I actually fired up the smoker. Um, I just used it like a regular grill even though it did just, it freaking smoked a lot. It just, it smoked like probably, I guess it's supposed to smoke. Where's the mic? Because I always cover up the mic on this damn thing. Over there? Okay. So, yeah. Got her rolling. I didn't use the side thing and, like, smoke it like I, like I didn't use it like a normal smoker. I just use it like a regular grill, but it still smoked more than a regular grill, would I think, because it was choochin'. And, uh, so, yeah, and I threw this sheetrock up here, and we laid everything out and had a, you know, had a nice cookout. Now I got a mess to clean up, so. Um... But yeah, that was after the uh, truck got buffed out, and uh, he left his uh, he left his wife's um, suburban here because um, they're trying to get rid of that. What Jared wants to do on his own is he wants to come over here and um, get this all sanded down, and uh, wants me to primer it for him. So he's going to do all the prep on the bumpers. Um, taking off the plastics and stuff and getting it all sanded down where it needs to be. Um, he might need a little direction, I guess, and some tools like the DA and stuff. But other than that, he's going to pretty much take care of all that on his own. And then uh, the dents on the back were, uh, you know, he said he'll probably just want some help with that. But um, this is going to be a hack and pack vehicle, guys. Okay. So starting from this back corner, I guess, um, he wants me to hack and pack this dent here, okay? And, um, you know, I told him that I would fix this dent here. I would try to pop that out with, you know, this, I could probably get that out with a suction cup. And then this huge dent here. That huge dent and this dent and the fender. I told him I would do all three of these dents, get them pulled out, and get them uh, get them in primer and get them ready for paint for um, a slide hammer kit. Now, most slide hammer kits are a couple hundred bucks, um, but I think I'm just going to be getting the $80 um, Harbor Freight Special, and uh, so basically I'm going to do these dents for 80 bucks. Maybe it well, yeah. He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to pitch in a little on materials too, because you know I'm gonna be using you know probably I don't know a good a good chunk of my tub of microlite, you know, which is only like 25 bucks for microlite. So, um, and then I gotta mix up a cup of primer, mix up a cup of 2K primer, and. Uh, so, and that costs money too. Um, and he wants to wet sand this. He wants to try his skills at wet sanding now that we got the rest of the truck done. So I don't even know if the camera's picking the scratch up. It's pretty sunny out, but if you can see it, it's right there. So it goes from like here all the way down, like it got keyed or something. There's another one right here. It goes from here all the way to there. So yeah, you know, there's lots of little things. I mean, this whole truck could use a paint job, but um, he just wants to get it ready for sale. So, um, so I will be spraying this front bumper in 2K, popping out this dent, probably two coats of microlite and 2K primer in that. Here, I'm gonna use my new hammer kit that he goes that we gotta go get in the morning. A slide hammer kit. 
I'll probably put a stud on here, maybe even up into here, here, and here or so. Pop that bad boy out, and then we're going to get another one down here, as you can see. Um, so we'll have to pull that out right there. That out, Obviously this is coming off. We already started tearing it off. But, um, he wants to stop in East Bethel at the junkyard and see what we can find for two fender flares. We need that one. And if you see this one, it's freaking melted. Isn't that crazy? I didn't notice it, but then he started looking around here, and look at this. Look at that. Melted. 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 <laughs> it's like pisser with this rust instead of going rust. It's like melted. 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 I guess it was under a deck that caught on fire or something, and a big board that was on fire fell on it. <laughs> so they got a really good deal on it. And then uh, Jared's going to be mounting the uh, front grill that he got in that box last week because the grill's busted off right there. It's gone. So we're putting an all, all black grill back on here. We're not mounting those stupid, you know, Denali inserts or whatever you want to call those. The retarded looking so it's gonna be all black and then we're gonna throw on the uh, the emblem too that's up here with the stuff that needs to be picked up yet like the propeller the propeller prop so yeah we got that all ready to go so that'll be cool on there and what we're thinking is he was thinking about picking up some matte clear to put on this too. So I'm gonna put that on there. Like so. So that'll be kinda cool. So he wants a gloss black with a flat black Chevy symbol. Okay. So that's that people. That is the update. Um, I'll bring you along tomorrow. Stay tuned. Um, because we'll be making a junkyard trip and a harbored freight trip and a dent pulling uh, video all in one day. So there'll probably be three videos. Um, I think it's smarter to put them up in separate videos um, just for you know view purposes and uh, you know some people might want to you know just check in and check out a 15 to you know 15 minute video of you know going to the junkyard or going to Harvard Freight versus a 30 minute video of driving to Harvard Freight and then going to the junkyard after so that's why I'm gonna kinda um, try to split these videos up a little bit more that way um, you guys don't have to sit down and watch such a long video I know I've said it before and uh, just try to keep the long videos to like the painting and the, you know those type, type of videos you know like Darren does with the taping and the painting videos so alright I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this off, probably turn it back on later, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, catch you guys later. See ya.